This Speed Channel presentation brought to you by Remax. Outstanding agents, outstanding results. And let's go right to victory lane. Ralph Shaheen with the victorious Bobby Gerhardt. Well, he's climbed out of the car. Brother Billy is here. A lot of celebrating going on down here. Well, Bobby, they were praying for rain down here, and they got it. What kind of prayers are you saying in the car today? Not too much. I knew we had, uh, if not the best car, it was close. And I was right where I wanted to be, and that's up front. Now, here's your dad coming in here. We got the whole Gerhardt family. I am today. I get the opportunity to give back to this guy what he gave me for 20 years, and that's a... That's hundreds and hundreds of trips to Victory Lane, Dad. Yeah, thank you. Good, you, uh, good job. I thank you. Wow, couldn't be no better. Well, this is your second win here at Daytona, and now you're trying to make the field for the Daytona 500. What kind of a boost does this give you as you head towards Thursday in the 2125? Well, that's certainly a big boost, but, you know, we, we, we got a big plate over there to chop into, and uh, as expected, we got a little late start. We only got a couple laps before we had to qualify, and... Uh, I'm not sure how big the party's going to be, but that may change which way we're going to go here. <laughs> Let me be. Well, Billy was taking a gamble on the gas, and we were wondering if he guessed wrong what kind of payback you would give him. How bad would you have gotten on him if he had guessed wrong in the cautions come? Well, let me tell you something. He's guessed for 15 years, and he hasn't been wrong yet. And uh, I'm not going to say a 20. I didn't question it, but uh, he said we run our race. And what they do, they do. And that's basically what we've always done. And here we are again. There are many of us that come to Daytona as fans, but none of us will have the opportunity to pull in the victory lane like you have. And it doesn't matter which division. It's still a victory at Daytona. Can you put it into words what it's like? Well, I think the last time I was here, it probably only sat in maybe maybe six or seven months after it was over. Uh, it's just, it just one heck of a boost for everybody, not only all my sponsors, uh, James Chevrolet, Northeast Ford, AK Builders, I mean, uh, I don't know what else to say. We get a lot of contingent support. To everybody that, that supports me, thank you. To all the people that work for Bobby Arrow's Truck World, I'm not the easiest guy at times to work for, I know, but we get a little intense, and this is why. Hey, guess what? You're a two-time winner at Daytona. Congratulations. Thank you. Sure, it certainly feels great. Really thanks, good. man. Thanks. Hey. Hi, everybody. All right, thanks, Ralph. Let's take a look at the top ten rundown. From the Discount Auto Parts 200 here at the Daytona International Speedway, Bobby Gerhardt, two-time winner of this event now, followed by the veteran Rick Corelli, the defending champion Frank Kimmel. And you know, the thing I want to say, I know we were rain shortened, but I believe the best race car won the race. I mean, this guy gave up the lead on lap 20, went all the way back in the field, and, and you know, I'm, I'm tickled to death for Billy Gearhart. I've probably got my crew chief hat on a little bit, but it's such a great <laughs> better have to make a, a call like that to come to win a race, but I think the best car won the race. I cannot concur more, Larry, because we went down that garage area this morning and we talked to these guys and they knew what they wanted to do. They called their shot. They came into this race with a plan. They executed. They stayed patient and they prevailed. And they're in victory lane. Exactly. And guys, let's follow up on some of the other stories and drivers we talked about today. Chase Montgomery, our pole sitter, 18 years old, finished 21st. Tina Gordon did a great job, 27th. Jason Jarrett came back from that equalized tire to finish 19th. Shelby Howard, tough break, was in the third position, the 16-year-old, but he'll finish 28th. I think some of these cars had a much better run than what their finish shows. Just had to make that pit stop there, and then we run a couple laps. Caution comes out, and the rain comes. And a lot of these, a lot of these guys are young drivers. Hopefully, they will learn from coming down here, making some mistakes, and they'll carry it into the future and be able to be successful and get to victory lane. And, and Larry, you said yesterday during the dash race here on Speed Channel, it's all relative. This is the Super Bowl for all these series. This is one of the most important races that these guys will run all year. Bobby Gearhart, he's not running the full season, but it, it, it builds your momentum. You leave here, you, you as a winner in Speed Weeks, you almost can't do anything wrong for several weeks or months. It's something you cannot take out of your resume. If you're a winner at Daytona, it is very, very important when you're talking to sponsors as on also future rides. You've got to be able to win at Daytona. Well, Bobby Gerhardt is the winner here at Daytona for Ralph Shaheen, Jeff Hammond, and Larry McReynolds. I'm Steve Burns. Yeah, saying fine, thanks everyone. for being with us here on the Speed Channel. Yeah.